kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 3 of my video series on display installed apps in your Android activity. Alright guys so now in this video we will uh, be working on the adapter so let's get started. So instead of wasting our time let's go back to our app, app adapter class and let's extend it with array adapter and inside that you we can have the app info okay so uh, we will have we will extend the our array the, the adapter with the type of our object which is app info and after that here you can see that it is saying you need to have a generator do you need to generate uh, the constructor so for that we can just uh, generate the constructor here but first of all here we don't need okay so before that let's try to remove that okay so here instead of in the source we can have a list of type app info apps and instead of uh, this resort we can have r dot layout dot app item layout and then we can have the app all right so now our constructor is complete now let's imply some objects so first of all we need a layout insulator and uh, then we need a package manager class after that we also need uh, the list array list so type app info and sorry we can say app alright so in inside our constructor we first of all need to initialize our constructor so we can say layout insulator equals to layout insulator dot from and here we can pass the context after that we can use or initialize the our package manager as package manager equals to context dot get package manager and finally we can say this dot app equals to app alright so after that we need to have uh, we need to override a method called get view and ins uh, inside our get view first of all we need to get our current object so we can say app info current equals to app dot get and inside our get method we can pass the position variable here so finally and so now we can have view object here and we will do that equals to context convert view sorry all right so now if we can check if our view is mm, uh, does not point to any reference so what we can do we can say view equals to layout inflator dot inflate and here we can see pass r dot layout dot app item layout then we have parent and finally false okay so and after that we can now initialize our controls so for that first of all we can have text view text view title equals to text view view dot find view by id r dot id dot title text view and we can say text view title dot set text and we can set the text to current dot label all right also now we need to get the package information so for that we can use package information class package info package info in request to package manager dot get package info and inside that we can pass current dot info dot package name and our flag will be zero okay so now it is saying that we need to have uh, we need to handle the exception name not found so we can simply say try 
says name not found and let's try to cut this line into this all right so now we can check if text utils dot is empty and here we can say package info dot margin name and so we can also say string version info equals to string dot format and inside that we can pass the percentage s and then we will have the object so we can say package info dot version name alright and finally we can ok so we also need to initialize our text view so again we can say instead of that let's just copy it and paste it here and set it to text text version and here we can say version id ok and also now we can easily have set the text so we can say text version dot set text and we can pass the version information string here alright and also we can have the subtitle I mean the package name so for that we can if we can check if text utils dot is empty and we can check current dot info dot package name if the package name is empty so uh, not empty sorry so we can also initialize just copy that instead of this text version we can say text sub title and also change it subtitle and then we can say text subtitle dot set text and instead of that we can just say current dot info dot package name alright and instead of returning this we can just uh, re return our view object alright and uh, finally here we can have inside our image view background equals to image view view dot find view by id r dot id dot icon image then we can have drawable let's try to change it to back to image view then we have background equals to current dot info dot load icon and inside that we can pass our package manager so and also we can say image view dot set background drawable ok set background and here we can pass the background here alright alright guys so now our application is complete let's try to connect it with our phone so that we can check if the it ok before that let's try to go to your main activity and here just copy that cut it refresh it ok so just you need to have create the, the method and inside that method you can pass the here so for ev inside so let's override the method on resume and we just need to paste it here so I guess it is now 
complete let's try to run our app and let's see if it works or not so now guys you are able to see the images but there you can see there is some issue here we are not able to have the icons so we will do that later okay so okay so let me just change a bit let's change it to set background drawable and now let's try to check if it does not have any issue okay so now we will do that later but let's also try to have let's just remove the source and let's try to display the icon okay so now you are able to see all the icons here all right so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye